Yeah, we're rolling. Still doing it, yeah? We're rolling. Action. Okay. So, okay, so what, what was the... I don't know whether you want to intro or not because I don't really mind. Okay. I don't know what so we're Basically, two, two weeks back, myself and Bloodfire, we had a, a discussion concerning uh, Jesus in the Quran and the, the Ruh and with regards to uh, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, do you want to continue, bro? We, we basically had a discussion oh. and we concluded it. it was Getting a bit, time was getting on, we concluded it and agreed to it. Right. Debate afterwards, my man was maybe sick next, last week, sorry. Yeah, yeah, well, I was actually. Yeah, so I wasn't trolling him or nothing like that, you know. I like to bring to the part, this is, this is something that I'd like to uh, remind myself, as well as the other brothers, the other Muslims that come here, is that, for example, Bloodfire here, he's, he's a, his, his creed, his creed is different to mine, he's a Christian. I'm a Muslim, but that doesn't mean that I have to take him as a hostile. I don't have to come here and abuse him because he has a different thing to me. You see it, we can be respectful, we can, we can agree to differ, we can be respectful in our, our, our discussions, and hopefully we can, uh, we can get somewhere in this discussion. Um, right. So, so what do you want me to start with? What I, what I said Basically, previously what, before? What you're, what you, Okay, my, so my argument was about the words of, of God or the word of Allah or the Kalimatu Allah according to chapter 4, 171. So let me just read it off for you. So it says here, and this is Yusuf Ali's translation. I don't know whether you accept that one. O people of the book, commit no excess in your religion, nor say of Allah aught but the truth. Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, was no more than a measure, no more than has been added, by the way, a messenger of Allah and his words, Kalimatu Allah, which he bestowed on Mary and his spirit, Bayru Kudus, or Bayru Minhu, a spirit proceeding from him, so sent from Allah, casted down from Allah. So believe in Allah and his messengers. Say not tr Trinity, the cyst, it will be better for you. Allah is one Allah, glory be to him, far exalted, above having a son. To him belong all things in, in the heavens and on the earth, and enough is Allah as the disposal of affairs. Now, my argument was that Allah is called, no, no, Jesus, sorry, or Isa ibn al Marim is called the word of Allah or Kalimatu Allah, right? Whilst it does state in the verse, say not Trinity, nothing else is claimed, right? It does say God doesn't have a son, I grant you that. But this verse is clearly stating that Jesus Christ is the word of God. Now, now God is an uncreated being. He's not created. So therefore, it naturally follows that the word of God is uncreated. So therefore, I posit that Jesus Christ himself is uncreated according to this verse. Go on. The verse was just quoted where um, Blood Pai mentioned that the, the, the Jesus, it, it clearly, like the verse itself, it refutes the claim that Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, was more than a messenger of God. Why? Allah Ta'ala says, Inna Masihu Isa ibn Maryam Rasulullah. Inna ma in Arabic is only, it means, it's restrictive, it means he's only. Inna ma Isa, Isa ibn Maryam. Rasulullah. So he was only Isa ibn Maryam was only a messenger of Allah. And with regards to the word uh, kalima, kalimatu, if you say if you say as I mentioned previously, in Arabic you have the mutaf and the mutaf ilay, which you can understand as if you translate into English the possessed and the possessor. So if, for example, you say ruhallahi the soul of Allah, the soul, like an example I gave previously, we say Kitab, uh, kitab, kitab Bilal, means the book of Bilal, the book possessed by Bilal. And with regards to proceeding, proceeding from Allah Ta'ala, like if I say, for example, I, if you, if you say like a, a letter from me in the Arabic language, 
رسالة من كايرون، for example، it does not mean that that letter comes from me, from my physical self. Obviously, when you when you if somebody asks you where's that letter, where did you receive that letter, you say من كايرون، for example. It doesn't mean it's from me. Obviously, it's been sent by me. It's been sent from me. It's been sent to you from me. It doesn't mean it proceeds from my body, from myself. Okay, so the, the argument was that the word Bayruh Minhu does not mean proceeding from my law. But, but let's be consistent with the Quran. Let's not go outside of the Quran and make up terms to add to the Quran. What does, what does Allah do? How is Jesus Christ brought forth into Mary? What does this say? It says here in Surah 66, 12, And Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity, the word uses Bajaha, by the way, it's a very graphic word, and we breathed into her body of our spirits, right? The Bai Ruh Minhu, or Ruh, and she testified to the truth of the words of her Lord. So it's clear, the action used here, the word used is breathed. It's clear that the spirit proceeds from Allah. It's not just an object of Allah, but no, it proceeds from Allah. The same with the words Kalimat U Allah. The possessive is used. Yeah. So the Kalimat to Allah is the, the words of Allah. Possessive. It's, it's not just like, oh, this is the camel of Allah, but the camel is separate. No. Word is a possessive. It's an attribute. Therefore, that word is an attribute. Therefore, it's the word of God. Right? But the word of the word of God has to be uncreated because Allah is uncreated. You cannot escape this by simply stating that the spirit proceeds from from Allah, but it's not but it's not Allah. Nor can you change the fact that the word uses by ruh minhu, meaning casted down from Allah. And as we just read in Surah 66:12, Allah breathed the spirit into Mary's forger. This is a possessive action. He's breathing his attribute into our law according to the Quran. Let's not go outside of it. Go on. Now, with regards to Maryam and how the, uh, she became pregnant, by the way, Muslims who believe as Christians, perhaps not all of them in this day and age, that Isa alayhi salam was born from a miraculous birth and that he had a mother and he had no father. And when it came to uh, the spirit that was uh, placed within Maryam, it was not the spirit of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it was a created soul. A soul created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not the soul of Allah, which was taken by Jibreel alayhi salam, the angel who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, um, charged with the, re uh, the revelation. And when it came to the um, when it came to, to Isa alayhi salam, him being uh, formed within Maryam, Mary, uh, Jibreel alayhi salam, uh, Gabriel, uh, peace be upon him, he was he possessed, he was given the soul of which was to be Jesus, and he went to Mary, and the soul was blown into her. And she uh, conceived Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, uh, peace be upon him. So it wasn't Allah's soul that was breathed, and it, and it doesn't say in the Quran that Allah breathed into her, rather, Jibreel alayhi salam went with the soul, the soul of Isa, he, he possessed it, it was given to him, and he, it was cast within Maryam. So it wasn't the soul, it doesn't say that the soul of Allah or Allah breathed in the Quran, in, in the Quran. it doesn't say that Allah breathed his soul into Mary, rather, um, Gabriel, uh, Jibreel, he was uh, he possessed the soul, he was given the soul, and he was breathing to Mary. Okay, so the words, the word soul in Arabic is nafs. It's not the word used here, the word used here is ruh. And, and you'd have to show me, where is the ruh referred to as Jibreel in the Quran? I have nowhere to find it, it's not there. In fact, when the, when the term ruh is used, or ruh is used in the Quran, it's used in Surah 1785, and in Surah 1785, it clearly says that nobody knows what the rule is. So I don't know how you know what the rule is, but, but Muhammad, or neither did the, the, the Quran, know what the rule is or the spirit is.
Go on. With regards to chapter 17, verse 85, which is referred to here, Surah Al Isra, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Yes, Alunaka, and the Ruh, and they ask you about the soul. This ayah here was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may blessings and peace be, peace be upon him, when the Jews of uh, when the Jews approached him and they asked him concerning the punishment of the soul so this uh, ayah was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad may blessings and peace be upon him concerning a question which the Jews asked him concerning punishment concerning the punishment of the soul so the, this, this was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad and he recite, recited the verse which was mentioned by respect to blood fire um, uh, to the Jews at the time. So it's it's not a case of uh, we don't know anything about the Ruh of Isa, Jesus. Rather, it's it's a, a matter which we, like the, 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 the soul, the human beings have been given little knowledge concerning that. Okay, so as I've said before, the word used for soul is nafs. It is nafs. It is not Ruh. Right? The raw mentioned in 1795, so, so, sorry, 85, sorry, right? It's, it says this, they ask he concerning the spirit of inspiration. Say the spirit cometh by the command of our Lord, knowledge is only a little that is communicated to you. Now, nowhere in the Quran does it state explicitly that, that the spirit or the raw is Jabriel. You'd have to find that. Nowhere is that in the Quran. For, for example, Surah 2, verse 253, for example, literally mentions the Ruh, the Bayru Kurus, or the Holy Spirit. It doesn't mention Jibril. So now I want you to show me where in the Quran that spirit is Jibril. So in the same chapter that just mentioned, he mentioned uh, Surah Al Baqarah, the second chapter of the Quran, um, the ayah was mentioned, he said 253. Um, Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran concerning Gabriel, Gabriel Jibril, alayhi salam, uh, actually, on, on top of that, he mentions that Jesus, Asa, was supported by, and first, uh, what I mentioned previously, the Ruh Kudus, which may be seen as translated as the, the, the Holy Spirit. Um, if you, if this, this here, the Ruh Kudus, is Jibreel alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Al-Baqarah, as he mentioned previously, that he was uh, supported, he was um, supported by the Ruh Qudus, giving clear uh, evidences. So, Jibreel alayhi salam is mentioned here. Also, in uh, Surah al um towards the end of the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, he mentions when talking about uh, Laylatul Qadr, which is, Allah in, which, is, which is found in the last 10 days of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Take your time, take your time um, تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ وَالْرُوحِ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمَرِ right? So in this, in this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, informs the uh, informs us in the Quran تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمَرِ So the angels, they descend on Laylat al-Qadr وَالْرُوح وَالْرُوح The Ruh mentioned here is Jibreel alayhi salam, Gabriel So there's an evidence, there's two evidence I've provided that Gabriel, Jibreel alayhi salam is mentioned, well I've mentioned two instances, perhaps there are further uh, uh, evidence of uh, proof that he is... Okay, so here's proof that the Ruh is not the angels because what does it say in chapter 16 verse 2 of the Quran, this is Pictou right, it says here he sendeth down the angels with the spirit of his command unto, unto, uh, unto whom, the spirit of his command by the way, is raw the same word used is raw unto whom he will of his bondmen saying warn mankind that there is no God save me so keep your duty unto me so is there, there therefore is a distinction between the angels and the spirit or the ruh of his command. 
Therefore, this cannot possibly be the, the Angel Gabriel because if it was, why was it not? Why was he not mentioned here as the as the angels mentioned that were coming down? Also, it says here in chapter seventy-seven, verse five, right? Say whoever is an enemy of Gabriel. Yeah. No, no, sorry, that's seven. Sorry. By those who bring down a reminder. So there is more than one person who brings down a reminder. It isn't just one being or one entity. But it's more than that. And I will posit the same pe persons bringing down the entity are the angels and the Holy Spirits or the Ruh HaKudus who's mentioned in Surah 16 verse 2 as I've just said, as it says here, and I'll read again. He sendeth down the angels with the Ruh of his command unto whom he will of his bondmen. There's a clear distinction between the two, so they cannot be the same. There has to be a difference. The rule is not the angel Gabriel. You still haven't shown that yet. That does not mean he's the rule. I'll, I'll, I'll let you continue. Right? Just let you let him. Oh, so it's summarize it the last bit. Oh, the last bit. So the last bit was basically there's a distinction in Surah 16, 16, verse 2. It says, He sendeth down the angels and the rule. There's a distinction between the angels and the rule or the spirit of the command. And my, my point was if there's a distinction, they cannot that cannot be Jabril because Jabril's an angel. Surely he mentioned along with the angels, but he isn't. He's mentioned separately here. Go on. Like when it when it comes to the distinction here, so I think the point it's trying to make is because the Ruh and the Malaika, uh, there's there's a distinction made between them that the Ruh can't be Jibreel basically. Right? There's a distinction, so there's the, 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 the he can't be uh, it can't be Jibreel because the Malaika mentioned, the angels are mentioned, and the Ruh has mentioned. Yeah, yeah, there's a di there's a differentiation between them two. As, as, as I mentioned, and this this is perhaps like with regards to the Hadith literature. Off, off, off. From top of my memory, I can't remember um, of any, I'm not saying there isn't any extant um, hadith concerning Jibreel alayhi salam backing up, um, supporting, and as we know that the, the, the hadith, they complement the Quran. Um, so, if, if somebody wishes to have a look to substantiate it even more, Apart from what I've provided of evidence uh, from the Quran uh, with the Malaika, I mean, when when the the, the first I mentioned in Surah Al Qadr, the Nazlul Malaika, the Ruh, I mean, if it is not Jibril, what else is it that's going to be descending on on Laylat Al Qadr? If it's if it's the angels and a soul, I mean, what's, what's the soul going to be doing? Okay, well, again, the word soul is nafsi, it's nafs, so it's not raw. The raw descending is the spirits or the holy spirits of God, as I mentioned before. And it seems to be more clear in the context, as I mentioned before. He sendeth down angels with the spirit of his command, as it says in Surah 16, verse 2, showing a differentiation. And also it says here in Surah 16, 102, the holy spirit has revealed it from your Lord, with the truth that it may establish those who believe and as, as a guidance and good news for those who submit. That's Surah 16, 102. It is clear in the Quran that there's a differentiation between angels and the spirits. And that differentiation, that, that for me posits that there is a being that is separate, that is called the spirit, that is not an angel. Therefore, it cannot be Jibril the angel. You still haven't shown me that that's Jibril because it doesn't say anywhere in the Quran that that's Jibril. Okay, good. When it, when it comes to when it, in Surah to uh, Surah Al Isra, chapter eighty-five, it said, "Yes, Anunaka and the Ruh." They ask you about the soul. Again, this was a time when the, the, the Jews they approached the Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu salam, asking him concerning the punishment of the soul. This is not the punishment of Ayyub uh, Jibril. This is the punishment of the human soul. Now, it's incorrect to say that the, the word for soul, I mean we have some Arabic speakers here, the word, the, the word for soul is not restricted to nafs. It's ruh also. It's used in to change, you have... For, for Jibreel, ruh, 
a Ruh al Quddus, and you have Ruh for soul, you have Nafs, as I mentioned before, um, Nafs is also used to refer to oneself, like on Yom al Qiyamah, the, the Anbiya, the, the Prophets of Allah, they will be approached by humans. They'll be the people that are less of a lesser degree, and they will be asked to intercede with Allah <coughs> um, to get basically because the al Qiyamah, the day of judgment, will be a very long day, and they were asked. The people were asked the prophets to go to Allah and intercede, and the prophets, like Isa, Jesus, uh, Adam, Noah, Noah, they will say Nafsi, Nafsi. My soul, myself, myself, they're afraid for themselves. So it can be referred, it, nafs in Arabic can be used for self, ruh, and nafs are both valid words to use in Arabic for soul. If I'm, if I'm incorrect, correct me. No, you're correct. We have Arabic speakers here. Soul. Okay, so can, can I talk now? Okay. So uh, the argument is that basically you know, there's other instances of the, of the Quran using the word for, for, for soul. For example, or for example, that doesn't negate my point. Again, that doesn't that doesn't clearly show that the spirit in the Quran is to build just because this word is used di differentiating between the two. As it says here, again in Surah 4052, and thus we reveal to you a spirit by our command. This is clearly something from our law, a possession of Allah, but of Allah that is sent down. This is not just a mere which, which, soul. Which, which ayah is that? Sorry, your soul. It's Surah 4252. So it's not just something, it's just not, it's not just a human soul we're talking about here. You got it there in front of you? Yeah, I'll go here, sorry. I'd have to get, in fact, I'll get up on my... Yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. Can, can you ask yeah, yeah, after, after, after. Oh, you, you want to ask me? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, after, after we can do that. And then so this is, this is, yeah, so this is it. Here, here, yeah. And thus we have, by our command, sent, it, it doesn't say inspiration, by the way, that's been added, to thee, thou knowest, knowest not before what was revelation and what was faith, but we have the Quran, a Quran, a light wherewith we guide such of our servants. So yeah, that, that basically the, the rule or the viral kudus or the spirit is being sent down. Right? Again, this is an instance of the spirit being sent down. Again, you've not shown me where, where the spirit is called Jibril. Okay. This is important. If you're going to claim that spirit of Jibril, you can't just claim, oh, well, we can use the word root to mean soul. But, uh, but then if that's the case, if you could use the word root to mean soul, then Allah has a soul according to the Quran. Okay. Can I, I, I want to, I want to ask you a question. All right, go on. In Surah Al-Qadr, the, the ayah that was quoted, تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَ you, You'd have to give me the actual number and, okay. oh, go on. So, Surah Al-Qadr is towards the end of the, have you got, is this the Quran app? No, that's not the Quran app, that's okay. I'll, I'll, my I'll just ask, you don't have to. That's my note. So Surah Al-Qadr, what's that? Um, Al-Qadr, it's towards the end. Towards the end, so it's it's seventy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it is it through us? the number because we'll go up a bit. Further. I think it's in the eighties. I'm not mistaken. I don't know where it's. Oh, okay, okay, slow down, slow down. Is it about eighty-six, something like that? Are you talking so, about seventy-eight? Yeah, 78? Close, 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 yeah, there it is. Surah Al Qadr. Oh, so it's oh, so ninety-seven. You're talking about. So what 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 ayah is it? So Tanazzalul Malaika. So it's, it's the second to last ayah. Second to last. Second ayah. to last ayah. All right. Um, should get it there. Yep. Yeah. No, this is it's, it's the one. It's the chapter before that. The chapter. Oh, so it's the chapter before that. Okay. So we got ninety-five here. And anyway. Um, because I, I did well, mention Surah 1785, so I, I, I don't know what, what one so you're anyway, mentioning. In this, in this, in this <laughs> help us out a bit, come on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. The, the, the angels and the Ruh descend on the day on Laylat, the night of Laylatul Qadr, which is one of the ten nights towards the end of Ramadan every single year. So my question, respectfully, is what is the Ruh? 
that is descending with the angels every single year. Well, I would say the raw is the Holy Spirit, as mentioned here in Surah 16102. The Holy Spirit has revealed it from your Lord with the truth that it may establish those who believe and in his guidance with good news for those who submit. This is Surah 16102. It's obviously clear that this... It's, it's all right, it's all right. Let me just continue, all right? It's, it's obviously clear from this ayah and this verse and this chapter that this Holy Spirit is referring to that which proceeds from Allah. And as I said before in Surah 6612, it actually states that, that Allah breathed the Spirit into Mar Maryam, right? So this means that is... One minute, bro, one minute, because you're talking over me. All right, so that means that this is something that Allah possesses because Allah breathes it out of him. This isn't just something that's separate from him. This isn't a separate soul or a created soul. Otherwise, if it is, then that means that Allah has a created soul because he says in, in Surah 19, 16 to 19, that is his spirit, our spirit. And it also says that in Surah 66, 12, our spirit, referring to Allah having a spirit that's of himself or by all men. But go on. As I've said previously, and I'll, you know, respectfully, I'll say it again, that something that is, I guess we'll just pass it over to one another. No, 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 no. Getting my man wasting his leg energy. Um, just because something is said, for example, if if I say, Kitabi, Qalami, uh, Baladi, Beiti, like house, my pen, my book, whatever I just said in Arabic. It doesn't mean it's of me. If Allah says, like, his soul, it, it is not saying that it's the soul of Allah. Like, his act, like, the, the, the Allah has a soul that he is giving to his creation. It is a soul that's possessed. And also, as we see, and uh, uh, something I like to say is that in the Quran, it does not say that Allah breathed Allah breathed his soul into Maryam. <coughs> I, would, I, I would like to request that uh, Bloodfire respectfully provides his evidence that it says that Allah breathes that Allah breathed within Maryam. Um, so yes, something that's possessed by somebody does not mean it's of that person. Something possessed of Allah, like we can't say, for example, um, if we say like we're, uh, if Allah says, for example, Nasi, like my people, or uh, Insani, Insani, like referring to human beings, it doesn't mean that they're people of Allah, like of Allah, or even his family, rather, it would be that they are the possession of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to the Arabic language. Okay, so the, the word is a possession because the word kalima to Allah, the word of Allah is a word. It's not simply a donkey or a horse. These are, these are objects. Sorry, did you want to? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just hold it. So the, the word is a possessive because the word is something that Allah himself has to possess with him himself. It's an attribute. Allah describes it as such. It's not something that is outside himself, like Allah's camel or my donkey or my book. It's something completely different. That's why he used that's why he uses the words Kalimat to Allah. It's just the same with our spirit or by rule minhu. He's it's another possessive because a spirit is not something that you can have that's separate from you. You see where I'm coming from? And I, 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 I'm wording it weirdly, but you see where I'm coming from? The spirit is, is contingent upon you. Right? Just like I say my spirit. My spirit is an attribute that's contingent upon me, just the same as Allah's spirit is contingent upon him. That's why it says, as I mentioned before in Surah 66, 12, Allah blew his spirit into Mary. It weren't just a, se it just, it weren't just a separate spirit. Sorry, let me go. And as it says, as I mentioned before in Surah 4171, which you haven't been able to debunk, the word used there is Kalima to Allah. Now, I've not yet seen... Are you right? Okay, so I've, I've, not, I've not yet found anywhere within the Quran at all, because it's not there, the ideal that Jibril is the Ruh. 
there is different there is a differentiation between Jabil and Arua. As I mentioned in Surah 16, 16 2, as it says here, he sent it one minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got, let, me, let me put it, let me put it there. No, JC, you keep moving around, bro. That's what I mean. <laughs> Okay, he sendeth down the angels with the spirit of his crown, the, the, of his command. There's a difference. There's a differentiation between the angels, the malak or whatever they're called, and the rule. There's a clear distinction. Now you have to work on that distinction because nowhere does it say that the rule is actually Jabril. You've added that to the Quran. Please show me where from the Quran where Jabril is the spirit. Are you gonna, is it going to move it again? As, as, I've, as I've asked, like the... You've got to argue in circles. You've got to argue Just ignore it. It's okay. No, no, so I'll, I'll, I'll let you talk it. because like, you're, you've been kind, so I'll be kind. Um, okay. I, I asked <laughs> regarding the Surat Al-Qadr, where a distinction is made like that it's... You have the Malaika and you have the Ruh and you have the... Um, in Surah Al-Baqarah, the Isa was given um, clear proofs or evidences, however it's translated, and he was supported by the 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 Ruh, the uh, Quddus, uh, Al Ruh, uh, Al Quddus. Um, so I'm I'm asking, what does Bloodfire believe these things to be? Oh, you're asking what? It, well, as I've said before, I believe this or these things to be. The spirit of God. I believe that Allah has a spirit that He brings forth from Him. We as Christians have the the hypostatic union. The hypostatic union is the idea that God is one being, three persons, right, in communion with each other, right. So that's why we can have the spirit proceeding forth from the Father that is God, right. And I know I'm using like I'm using like theology from Christianity, and maybe you think I'm imposing it on your Quran. Do you want me to put this on? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, right. so I know I'm you. I, I know I'm kind of imposing Christian theology on the Quran, but I'm doing this because just to show how you how, how really inconsistent the Quran is, because it claims it's a clear book as Surah Two, Ayah Two actually mentions, but the problem is nowhere is it clearly states that that the Ruh Al Qudus is Jibril. Doesn't say that. This is an invention that Muslims have made up, okay. and unfortunately, let's, you've not been able to show that from right, the Quran. Right, right. So it's like, right. let's, I mean, am okay. I moving this? I understand it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> um, the original subject that we were discussing um, was because the, the claim is that the soul mentioned in the Quran. Is the soul of God is what you're saying, and it's I'm not, saying it's the spirit of God. The spirit of God is what Jesus is, basically. Yeah. Right. Um, the same verses as I mentioned earlier on. The same verses. They say, in the Isa ibn Maryam, Rasul Allah. He is only a messenger. So Isa, the son of Mary, is only a messenger. See, I understand, like, um, just hold it, because <laughs> I don't want to just keep going, but. I, I understand that Bloodfire has his own beliefs concerning Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, and he said, I am, I don't want to, or please don't feel like however you worded it, that I'm imposing my beliefs upon you, upon the Quran. But the Quran clearly states, when we we're talking about Isa alayhi salam, that he was only a messenger of Allah. The same verse is what he's using. Allah God Almighty is saying he's only a messenger of Allah. It's finished? No, 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 I'm, I'm just wondering if you're finished yet. If you're not finished, continue. Sorry, sorry. Um, and again, like with regards to the soul, I guess, I don't know, I feel like I'm going... <laughs> Going back and I don't know, bro. Should we just wrap it with sort of thing? Well, I, I don't want to go around in circles, so I'll just. I feel like I'm making. Do so you want to wrap up first? It's better to let you. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> okay, so the core discussion today was concerning the the soul and Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, the claim that he was from Allah, basically. That the Quran is saying that. 
my, my uh, contention and the evidence I've provided demonstrates that nowhere in Islamic theology does it claim that Jesus was part of God. Rather, he was a created soul that was placed within Mary, Maryam, and there was no, there's no like lineage, like when it comes to God and Jesus, Jesus isn't from the uh, Quranic theology, uh, from, from uh, Islamic theology, there's nowhere that it claims that he is part of God. Rather, the verses that have been provided clearly demonstrate that Jesus is of the creation of Allah. He, uh, is, he was only a messenger of Allah. And yeah, and so, you come in. So you're, you're, you're cruising a bit loud, give me a second. No. Go on, go on. I'll, I'll, I'll let you wait. No, no I'm wait for the, the crowd. Alright, it seems so. Alright. And you got the mic in when you And with regards to the Ruh mentioned, in Surah Al-Isra, which Bloodfire referred to, saying that um, they ask you about the soul, uh, basically that you, you have been given little knowledge concerning it. Um, this is concerning the souls of the human beings where the uh, Jews, they came, as I mentioned previously, to the Prophet Muhammad, والسلام, may blessings and peace be upon him. So this ayah uh, was revealed to him. Concerning that, it's nothing to do with Jesus. Um, and again, I made a uh, in, in Surah Al Surah Al Qadr, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, God Almighty, mentioned that the angels on uh, this is in the last, the latter ten nights of Ramadan. The latter ten nights of Ramadan, the angels they descend and the roof. And this here is the angels and ru the Ruh, uh, which in this case is Jibreel, Gabriel. I mean, it's not, it doesn't make sense to say that God sends down the angels and he sends down like a, a random soul to the earth, what to do, what to just scatter around in a park or something like that. No, rather it's, it's, it's the, the Gabriel, Jibreel alayhi salam in Islam, he's given a, high, a lofty position. A distinction is made between him and the angels. Like you may see in other, other things in the world, like you may have a group of, um, you, have, they may, you may say for example like the lions and the, and the alpha, or however it is, 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 is whatever distinction people make between um, a, well you have like a group for example of, of, of creatures and then the one that uh, surpasses others in rank for example, they may be mentioned as well. So anyway, I'll pass it over. If you can get it off, if you can get it off. How is this? Is super glued on me or something? Where's the clip? Oh, is it there? It's that side. Oh, right. There we go. So yeah, thank you for speaking. I need to, anytime you want to have another conversation, we can. I don't want to. God bless you, man. Take care. And it, it, it comes to me anytime you want to have a debate or a discussion. Where do I finish off here? Basically. Nowhere in the Quran does it say that the angel Gabriel is the rule how could it? Now we've heard the verses, right? For example, Surah 775 says that they bring the revelation down. This is talking about a plural. Who brings the wahi down? If you read Surah 16 verse 2, there's a differentiation between the spirit of Allah and Allah himself. Now, just because the, the Quran says that Jesus is just the messenger of Allah, that does not mean that don't, that does not negate. Therefore, him being the word of God, right? That hasn't been addressed at all, unfortunately. Right? We still have the problem of the kali, kalimatu Allah or the possessive attribute of Allah becoming Christ in literal form, according to the Quran. Right? We've met, we mentioned um, Surah 16, verse, Surah 90, verse 60 to 90, where Allah's spirit becomes a man, and it says our spirit, another possessive of Allah. It is clear that Allah has a spirit, 
that is separate from him that is still him in nature. Remember Muslims in nature. I just, just like we have the Trinity, we have three persons, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. We have the Father being the source of the Son and the Holy Spirit, all containing that essence or that energy of that, that energy or deity that they have within themselves. And I believe this is the same with Allah as well. When it comes to his words, Kalimatu Allah in Surah 471, or his spirits, Bairu Kudus in Surah 6612, it does say breathed, he breathed into Mary's Vajra. That's what it says. Right? So it is clear from the Quran that Jesus Christ is a created being. It also says in the Quran, and I don't know the chapter, you're going to have to get the chapter. Right? It also says in the Quran that Allah breathed into a clay pigeon and it became life. It is clear that, no, not Allah, sorry, Isa ibn al Maryam, sorry for that, breathed into a clay pigeon and it became alive. It's clear that Isa ibn al Maryam has the ability to give life as well. He is not merely a created being as the Muslims keep trying to enforce us. No, he is actually God incarnate. He's not the Father, he's not the Son, but he's, the, he's not the Father, he's not the Holy Spirit, but he is the Son. And whilst the Quran does say that Allah is the Father to no one in Surah 930, it does not say that Allah does not, that Allah himself or the being of Allah is not multiple. And it's clear it's multiple. It's clear that the word of God has become human flesh. And I'm calling Muslims to the actual word of God, that is Jesus Christ. As he says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth and the life. Anybody who needs to get to the Father gets through me. Right? And also it says in John 14, 9, that he and the Father are one. Jesus Christ and the Father are one. It's clear that Jesus is God. And I think Muslims should stop running away from it and come to it. Come to Jesus Christ who is, who is, who was, who is to come. He is the Alpha and Omega according to Revelation 117.